Hey friends and resellers, it's Trish with Well Sourced coming at you with a thrift haul video. This is from Dollar Day on last Sunday between two Goodwills in my local area in Middle Tennessee. And that not all the items I got were a dollar, but this is the day where last week's half price tags turn into 99 cents. And there is a new color of the week that makes things 50% off for a new color. So uh, full disclosure, I've already gone about halfway through this haul and realized I wasn't recording. So isn't that a fun little turn of events? So well, let me lug all this stuff over here again. So if I seem um, like I'm rushing through the first 20 items, it's because I've already talked about them um, and discovered that I was not recording. So maybe I need a little afternoon pick me up. Anyway, I picked up 58 items uh, this day between two Goodwills in my area. My normal cost of goods for shirts are $4.99 in the, at thrift store prices. Um, pants are $5.99. Jeans are $7.99. Dresses are $7.99. So, and tank tops are $4.99, that kind of thing. So those are my typical prices. So half off um, a lot of these and a dollar for a lot of these. But I did pick up 58 items. $196 total, which brought my cost of goods to $3.38 a piece. And um, if I remember which ones I got for a dollar, I'll let you know. But in my mind, they're just $3.38 a piece. And I don't really do my cost of goods. I do want kind of on a monthly expense of what I'm putting out versus what I'm getting in. Um, I don't always look up comps. I know that's probably a poo-poo to some people, but uh, if I feel good about it or I just like the style and I'm paying a dollar, then I'm willing to take a gamble on it. There are some items that I just am, I know are going to sell for at least 15 or $20 and I'm gonna make my money back. So I don't have a problem living on the edge that way. Now I'm not gonna pay seven or $8 or $10 for something if I'm not looking up comps. I do a lot of my sourcing at the Goodwill bins. So there you can really take a gamble, but I feel like on dollar day um, and when you're getting a lot of items half off and your cost of goods are super low, plus you're not looking for high ticket items, maybe like a lot of people are, I'm just looking to, you know, turn maybe a $20 sale out of most items is what my goal is more of course if possible but um so keep that in mind when we go through these items and we'll hopefully not have to go through it a third time so let's just go ahead and get started first up is logo by Lori goldstein this is primarily sold on like qvc or home shopping network uh, it does much better in the larger sizes like medium large extra large and up into extended sizes the smaller sizes don't seem to do as well but um, i picked this up because of style I thought it was super cute it's a size small it's just a real lightweight red and navy tank dress so this is super cute it's got nautical vibes perfect for like memorial day or fourth of july and it was a nice condition um it was Let's see what this is made out of. Uh, I just cut my nails and I can barely function because <laughs> they're really short. This is rayon spandex polyester. So it's got some nice stretch to it and I'll have <clears throat> good wash wear. So anyway, I went ahead and picked that up and I do believe that one was a, a dollar. This one definitely was a dollar. This is Zara. It's a women's slacks in a size six. And it's this navy kind of window pane, um, a cropped kind of skinny trouser pant. And maybe not, you know, the best for the season now, but upcoming seasons, that will be something that someone might want. <clears throat> I do okay selling Zara. It's not quick sa sale or a high dollar sale, but being that those are new with tags, a six, and kind of a cute style, I went ahead and picked those up. Next up is a pair of Chico's. This is a pull-on straight crop pant. It's a size two, which equates to like a large or a 12 with their pants. It's this really lightweight kind of chambray color and it has this ability to tab the ankle. It's just a pull-on pant with some pockets in the back. Just real cute, lightweight pant, perfect for summer. They were new with tags and retailed for $64.95. So, um, New with tag Chico's or items that are in at a larger or extended size or that are a substantial piece or have a lot of, you know, are very pretty or unique tend to do better for me. But I do not shy away from picking up Chico's whatsoever. This is These are 68, 66% Lyocell with a cotton viscose blend for the remainder. So I think those will be great coming into the upcoming season. Okay. This is a brand I've picked up a top for before, but never jeans. I believe they sell jeans and never slacks or trousers, but it's Liverpool. These are a size 10. 
regular, I'm sorry, petite, and it's just a navy blue. I think it's called the London Navy. It's a cropped. Um, straight leg pant and they it's a great color it's a nice wardrobe essential for anyone going to the office or even just a cute you know lunch date or whatnot um these were a dollar so I went ahead and took a yam on those and these I had actually seen in the thrift store for several weeks they're Liverpool as well they're a size 16 and they're in this gray they are a full length straight leg trouser pant. Um, so for a dollar, I'm willing to take a gamble. And I, I did look up comps for these several weeks ago when I was seeing if I wanted to pay $5.99 for them. And they seem to do okay. So for a dollar, I'm really excited to see how they do. Next up is a pair of Lane Bryant pants. They're a size 16. They're a pull-on pant with these fun zipper pockets. They're like an athletic feeling pant, but they're easily worn, you know, out and about in this great maroon dark red color. They're a straight leg, um, and they're not really a legging, but they are a straight pant. And then they just have um, the plain back. So I think those would do well. I like picking up Torrid. I like picking up Lane Bryant, and uh, actually Ava and Viv from Target. Any of the extended sizes do pretty well for me. So next up is the brand Lisse or Lise. It's a size medium. I think it's sold like Macy's, Dillard's maybe. It's this kind of houndstooth black. It's their leggings. They're like a cropped legging pant. Um, the, this brand does have like this built-in tummy control or real, you feel real like sucked in at the top. And I have done well with this brand. They tend to make kind of the stretchy, comfy clothing, but those, you know, you could wear that with a pair of cute flats and um, like a, you know, black top for summer, be easy. Okay, next up is Maeve. This was half off, it's a size medium. It's this nice tomato red sleeveless top. It's this real kind of gauzy fabric with these polka dots that are kind of embroidered on there with these gold tone buttons. And the problem, I got this at the second thrift store I went to. My husband was at this conference in Nashville where we live about 45 miles away. And he discovered he needed something from home that he did not think he was going to need. And I needed to run it down to him, um, which I gladly did. But so I got to stop at this thrift store. I don't always get to go on the way home that has nice items. But a lot of times they're nice items. The training there needs to improve a little bit. I've talked about this in previous videos because they stick the price tag through very delicate fabrics, like in a really inopportune spot rather than through a seam or um, the tag. And so I actually found a lot of Maeve by Anthropology, so like the newer tag in like a size large, which would have been fabulous, but it was this really like super lightweight fabric and it would have left a giant hole in it. So I had to leave those behind. But I just thought this was really cute. Um, perfect going into the upcoming season. And you know, for three, what I pay say, three thirty-eight a piece, um, or realistically, that one was you know two fifty. I was willing to to pick that up. Next up is a Lux by Carmen Mark Volvo. It's a size medium. It's a stretchy tank dress. It's like a midi length with a shark bite kind of hem at the bottom or a handkerchief hem. It's got the solid trim on the tank and the outside. It's just just really pretty. Be cute like on a cruise or vacation dress i'll use those keywords it's got a zip back and then hook and eye closure at the top so um just a real flattering cut it's nice and stretchy and comfortable i have i think that was a dollar i've never really picked up that brand before i think i've had one other item for that brand in my closet that maybe is it's gotten some likes but it's not it's just hasn't sold yet this is free people i think i paid full price 4.99 for this but um it's a size small and it is this really nice green, olive green, OD green, army green, <laughs> gauzy textured top. And it's got these um, crochet inserts on the sleeves. And then the back is an insert that goes the yoke or whatever that is um, all the way down to the bottom. So real lightweight. It had a little bit of a spot on the sleeve that it was surface and I you know it has a, t a few little snags in the back but those I can they're just in the embroidery um, I can snip that off so that was cute went ahead and brought that home 
this brand I did look up because I wanted to know where it was from. The brand is, I don't even want to show you the tag because it doesn't really do you any good, but it's Hearts and Daggers. And it's by, it's an ASOS brand that they sell through ASOS. It's a size 30. They're made in Turkey. Um, it's a pair of men's slacks. It says to fit waist 30 to 30, 32. And it's polyester viscose wool and with a little bit of stretch. So they're just this plaid black flat front, uh, like a slim straight leg wool pant. So those were, you know, a dollar. So I went ahead and took a gamble. Next up is the brand Bryn Walker. It's uh, made in the USA. If you ever come across this brand and have not found it before and you're worried there's no size, it's just underneath that main tag. This is a nice red long sleeve dress. It's like a mini or a midi length. And um, when I first saw it, I thought it had pockets. Where are we? But it really has these little dart out details that kind of hang and drape out it below your hips, which not everyone <laughs> wants to accentuate that area. But um, this just kind of drapes there. And then it's just a midi length um, dress. And I think I did find a stock photo of this, so I'll probably insert that here. So I'm not doing this justice. This did need to be washed separately um, because it had like a little surface dirt on it. And it's a nice stretchy, like poly rayon blend maybe, um, but in really nice condition. And I did pay full price for this at $7.99. I did have a 10% off coupon, I guess all of this. So it was $7.99. So I was happy to pay that. I do well selling Bryn Walker. I think both the items that I've sold um, by that brand have sold for uh, 45 and over. So I'm happy to pay up for that. Okay, now we're getting into the items that I haven't already talked about um, recording twice. Oh, and I did get a pair of loft outlet boyfriend crop pants, women's button fly jeans that I'm wearing. They were for me, they were a dollar. And for a dollar, um, I was willing to try them out, see if they'd fit, which they did. So I get to keep those and not have to sell those. Okay, next up, I think I did pay half price for these. Um, they're just a striped pair of 100% linen wide leg pants. They're a size 12 by Tahari. And these I just bought on style. I mean, I know a lot of people, Tahari sold at Dillard's, maybe Nordstrom's, those kind of house brands at those stores. But I also find all the time at like Ross or I mean at TJ Maxx. So, um, but these are just super cute. Kind of like a nautical vibe. And somebody's gonna wanna rock those this summer. I like selling linen. So, um, okay. <laughs> this is a Banana Republic, and I'm not sure how old this is. Let me see if I can find the tag. Size zero. I don't like to pick up smaller sizes all the time because I have a lot of them in my closet. Um, but it's just really pretty strappy front dress in this brown natural color. It is lined and then it's kind of just a fit and flare uh, knee length dress. And <laughs> it is from the summer of 06. So it's definitely older, but it's 100% linen and then the lining is cotton. So I just kind of liked this print on it. The back is real cute, strappy, and it has um, a side zip. And it's got kind of a full, or you know, like a skirt that has a lot of movement, but it's also got some, um, what's poofiness, I guess, because of the cotton liner. So I just thought that was really cute. That one was half price. Okay, next up is a brand called Sarah Campbell. And I've picked this up once before, actually at the same thrift store. This was a dollar. And the brand, or I picked up the shirt, it was like numbered, a numbered series of this brand. And they retailed, it was super expensive. And it sold very quickly for me, um, I think for over $50. Don't quote me on that though, I'll have to look. If I find out the information, I'll put it on here. But this is Sarah Campbell, it's a size eight. And this is the front. It's got these pleated front at the top and then it's down to a midi and it has this eyelet detail trim on the bottom. And then the back, which is not all the way buttoned up, but it's 
buttons all the way down the back into a slit and then it ties at the very top so it's super cute um this one did not have a fabric tag i feel like it had been taken out i don't know if these are handmade i don't know what the deal is with sarah campbell if i find any information out about this brand i'll tell you because i did pick up that blouse last time and it seemed like it was limited edition but i don't know what this is made out of i'm going to try to find um, this top, but I would say it's like a cotton linen blend, but I'm not, don't quote me on that. Anyway, we'll see how that does. This I picked up, uh, I liked the style on it. It's Iolani, Hawaii, made in Hawaii, size large or Iolani, never been to Hawaii. Um, but my husband gets to go there for work sometimes and it's just never worked out that I've been able to go. So now maybe that I'm a full-time reseller, I'll be able to go on a few more trips with him, which would be exciting. It's this fun, I think that's probably like a hibiscus and some other plants or flowers on there. It's this real stretchy red dress. It's sleeveless. Um, it's got a keyhole back. So, and it's just a real kind of trapeze sort of dress. Perfect for vacation. Next time someone goes to Hawaii, the comps on that weren't horrible. Next up is Pilcro, which apparently is just Pilcro now and not end the letterpress. I'm not sure what that <laughs> change happened. Maybe they fought and had to change names, but this is um, Pilcro size medium. It's just this gray, gray, green and white and pink peach kind of striped long sleeve shirt. It's kind of semi sheer. It's real thin, um, nice rounded hem at the bottom. I've never found just Pilcro. So the last, in my last video I was talking about, or one of my last videos talking about how I found a shirt that was Pilcro and then, and the letterpress was, you know, cut out with some embroidery or overstitched. So, um, that was maybe the transition they were going through. This is a US size medium and it is cotton poly blend. So I went ahead and picked that up just on style. This is Tahari again size medium. It's a real cute gray blue button front top. It's got snap buttons and it snaps like a men's shirt or jacket, but it's not. Um, and oops, it's kind of like this moto military, I don't know, field jacket kind of feel to it. And uh, I think it was 100% Tencel, YSL. Let's see. 100% Lysol. So, it perfect lightweight jacket for spring and summer. All right. They, they had actually pulled out a lot of dresses and things to the dollar rack um, at my local thrift store. So, I went ahead and went through that. This I just picked up on style. I thought it was cute. It's express, size extra small. It's just a strapless blue and green uh, dress with a tie waist and it's a mini dress just really cute someone would really look cute in that at um like a summer wedding i think this i kind of bought for myself it doesn't sell things happen the brand is donny d-o-n-n-i i when i looked it up it did seem like some items from this brand may have been stole, sold at anthropology before but this is just one size fits most it is a long open kind of kimono cardigan in this group. okay full disclosure i had to take that phone call because it was from the countertop company my husband and i have been remodeling our kitchen i stripped and sanded and restained all of our cabinets and we got new countertop coming we've got new countertop coming in a new sink a new faucet um and so i've been waiting for the phone call to see when those are going to get installed because my husband is going to be um, needing to help me remove the existing countertop. So, oh, I'm really excited. So, sorry about that delay. Um, but now I'm really excited, but I'm thinking about all the things I have to do this week in order to get countertop installed. Anyway, this is just a long line open cardigan. Um, it's got pockets in the front and it's made out of cotton, polyester, and spandex. So, I kind of just liked it for myself, but um, I'll look up comps again and see if it's worth anything. I think I paid $4.99 for that. I don't think it was half price, but it was for me. <laughs> so, that I don't mind. This is, I don't always pick up this brand. I picked it up for style. It's Gianni Beanie, which is like, 
I see it at Dillard's here. This is 100% cotton. It's like a blanket poncho and it's black and white. So sure, someone could wear this in the winter with a turtleneck or a long sleeve shirt on it. But I think this would be really cute this summer over a pair of jean shorts. I say that all the time. A pair of jean shorts at the beach and um, just enjoying you know, the summer activities. So I picked that up kind of for style. Okay, next up is something I bought for me. Um, it's Marmot. It is a men's shirt, so I'll share it with my husband. But it's Marmot, it's reversible. It's got gray on one side and then this green and gray stripe on the in inside. Um, it doesn't have a fabric tag, it's some sort of cottony thing, I don't know, but it's reversible. It's kind of a heavier knit. So I've talked about in previous videos how my husband and I like to go camping. We go camping in the winter primarily because in Tennessee there are lots of snakes. I don't do snakes. There's like a legitimate fear, <laughs> psychological trauma involved with snakes for me. So I don't like to camp in the summer because I feel like that's when, in the spring and the fall, um, when the snakes are out and after me. Some people will live in Tennessee their whole lives and not have one snake encounter. <laughs> and I've lived here for like seven and I've had way too many. So I don't care for them. We have poisonous snakes, we have large snakes. I just, they just don't do much for me. Um, I'm from the Northwest and in my area of the Northwest, we have some, you know, like garter snakes, but nothing that wants to eat me, kill me, maim me. So um, anyway, we need warm things when we go camping because we camp in the winter and I won't camp in the sum summer. So uh, this is for us. That was a very lengthy explanation for that. So this I kind of bought, oh no, this I definitely did not buy for myself. Uh, latched mama. This is not for me. Uh, this is a nursing top. So it's just a long kind of top. And it's gray. It's a size, I think, small. Small. And I have, um, I picked this, a couple dresses up by this brand. They sold right away. And so it's just a nursing top. So you pull up this little flap um, to get at what you need to get at to be able to nurse sort of discreetly and easily. And this is great for um, a mama, maybe not in the summer, but somebody who's maybe expecting some baby this fall or winter. And I got two of those. I'm not sure where the other one, the other one's the exact same in black. So I did pay full price for those. Um, I saw one and I was happy to pick up the other. Those are $4.99 a piece. And the dresses, I don't know what the comps were for the tops, but I'm expecting maybe like 20 to $25 for those. Next up, I saw this dress when it was full price for $7.99, which I refused to pay for. Um, this is made in the USA. It's hundred percent polyester. It's the brand is Judith March, which kind of, I don't know if it's anthropology. I've, I've seen it before, but I'm not sure if some things have been sold at anthropology, but it is this one sleeve, long sleeve brown top. And it's got this 60s, 70s retro vibe on the bottom. I, I don't know. I liked this dress and almost bought it for $7.99. <laughs> um, and it doesn't even have a size on it. Oh, I think it does on the bottom. It's just really cute. And it was a dollar. And I was like, somebody's going to want to own that. It's actually a size large. Not my size large, but a size large. Okay. Next up is William Rast. Um, which I've never found before or I may have found before. But I kind of feel like it has something to do with Brandy Melville. Could be making that up. This is a size medium. It is a purpley violet tartan plaid that retailed for $79. It's a plaid flannel. And ah, I, I looked over everything before I left. And now I see this big hole in the back. But I can fix that. Or I might just sell it as is. I can fix that. It's right on the seam. So somebody likely tried this on that was not a size medium. And I can just stitch that shut disclose it it's still new a tag so at least it's in good condition and i it's so funny because i looked over all the snaps and everything else um these were comping out pretty great it has fun sleeves so that is worth fixing in my mind it's got snap buttons that are like an onyx not really a pearl snap but onyx so i'm gonna set that aside i don't mind doing little seamstress work here and there um nothing major <laughs> but i can stiff stitch that shot easily this is the brand Lush. Don't know anything about you. I see you all the time at uh, 
like Ross maybe or at TJ Maxx. So it leads me to believe that it's leftover from, um, you know, some department store or boutique. It's cotton rayon, but I bought it because it was cute. Um, oops, what have I done here? Well, there we go. It is this embroidered scalloped front with this gingham check, which is super cute, of course. And it's got pockets and the back is good gravy here. Crosses over the struggle, people. The struggle. Okay, there we go. Um, crosses over. It's got a smocked back. It's an open back. And then it goes down into a, it's a romper. So it is really cute. I love a good gingham check plaid uh, any day of the week. Next up is St. Tropez West. This is a size 10. It's just a floral rayon dress, but it's a great vacation wear piece. Throw it on over your swimsuit, go down to the pool. Um, and that brand does okay for me. It was a dollar, so I wasn't shying away from that. Next up is Lucky Brand, size small, which I don't always pick up this size or this brand, but this is a maxi dress. And it's got this sort of Aztec-ish, Southwestern sort of <laughs> vibe to it. Um, and it's a tank dress. And then it is, it feels like cotton. But we shall see. It's, it looks like an older piece. Made in the Philippines, so I'm going to assume it's an older piece. And it's a cotton modal blend. So it's just um, a great summer dress. And that was a dollar. This is a romper by O'Neill, which makes like swimsuits and surfing stuff. Um, it's just this fun print kind of short sleeve open back romper it's sheer ish so I think you know wear it over swimsuit and it's a size medium but it was cute and did it have pockets yeah I believe everything should have pockets but that's just my opinion <clears throat> this is Calvin Klein size medium it is a sweater dress with three-quarter length sleeves in this color block cream gray purple and black it was, this was a dollar. It was in super good condition. Super good. Um, and it is cotton poly rayon or nylon blend. So that, you know, for a dollar, sure. This brand I've never found. I hear other resellers talking about it. Maybe that it's not as great of a brand anymore. But I did get it because um, it's 100% linen. The brand is Untuck It. It's a size 4. So just casual shirts, I guess, that are meant to be untucked. Um, it's a nice pink color in this long sleeved, got a front pocket, and it's 100% um, linen. So feel good about that. This I picked up, it was new with tags. It's the three quarter sleeve perfect blouse in Pueblo Rose. It's by the Not Your Daughter's Jeans. I just I do okay selling the pants. I've never tried selling the shirts. Um, it's this really pretty pink, pale pink, rose, dusty rose color popover with a little bit of pleating in the front, um, three quarter length sleeves, and it was new with tags. So we'll see how that does. I did pay $4.99 for that. So that was a full pricer. These were a mistake. Well, not really a mistake because I don't feel like it was a mistake because I think they're cute and maybe someday I'll fit in them. But um, I threw them in my cart because I wanted to look them up and they got, they were black and wedged up against something else black and I didn't ever check through them until I came home. So the brand is Grace Karen. They're a size large and they're a paper bag style waist that pant that ties and then it goes down into just kind of a straight leg. They're really cute. Um, and they have pockets. The comps weren't great on them. It's just like a rayon pull on pant. But I maybe I'll fit in those one day or I'll sell them for $15 and make my money back. They may have been 
half price. I don't remember. This was half price off of $4.99. They didn't have it marked to a sweater. They I had another J Gel piece. Um, spoiler alert, it's J Gel. And I went to look through it over it and it had um, a hole. It was merino wool as well. But this is J Gel merino wool washable size large in this great navy color. It's got this texture to it. If you can see, it's like a floral pattern, but or maybe snake print, who knows? Darn snakes everywhere. Uh, and it's kind of hard to see. It's just textured. So it's just a regular old sweater. And then it has this extra panel kind of at the bottom here. Um, and so I do pretty well selling J. Jill. Probably not um, a merino wool sweater in April, but whatever. This is Daniel Rain, size small. Just a pretty half sleeve kind of crochet lace neck v-neck navy blue cutouts there and this um rayon so that's great these i bought for style and i i don't really like selling skirts but this is um the gap 1969 denim which does fairly well for me and they're a size 29 it is this like light washed kind of got this asymmetrical it's kind of like when they used to cut jeans off and make them into a skirt is what it reminds me of i don't know if you remember that but um it's got the raw hem on the bottom so i picked that up and then i picked up this pack sun skirt in a size 24 which is very small it's this acid wash jean with a raw hem and some distressing um and then distressing on the back so i picked those up this is Lauren Jean Co. Ralph Lauren, made in Vietnam. I think this is definitely an older tag. And it is a cotton, 100% cotton, v-neck kind of popover, three-quarter length sleeve. And this, these just real pretty colors. Um, and I do all right selling that brand. So next up is Chaser, which I don't do well selling, so I'm not sure why I picked it up. It's a size medium. It's this waffly knit sort of textured top and it's got this fun button sleeve detail and it had a little bit of pilling under the sleeves but it's a substantial piece and it was in that really pretty purple color um so i decided to pick that up okay um i do pretty well selling michael michael Kors, which i only ever see at like marshall's and tj maxx this top was um retailed for $84. It's a size medium and it's just this kind of seat blue kind of off the shoulder gray sort of color with half sleeves and this subtle ribbing to it. Um, and I think that's really pretty. It might be flattering for somebody that uh, can wear things off the shoulder. So I went ahead and picked that up. I pick up, I'm a sucker for life is good stuff. It doesn't resell. I own most of it. I keep most of it for myself. This won't fit me, but life is good. I just, I like the stuff. I like what it says. This is life is good sleep. It's a size medium and it's this really pretty peach like sleep shirt, button cuffs and this plaid. And then it down here, it says, oh, love who you are. There we go embroidered on the side and I just thought that was a nice message for somebody to wear to bed and that that would somebody would want that next up is BKE it's I do okay it's buckle stuff selling BKE um it's just a size medium it's 100% cotton but I like this it's a fitted top it's sort of western it has roll tab sleeves but it has this Pearl snap on the front and then it has some crochet lace detail around the bottom hem and along the buttons there and it's this pretty floral so it has kind of some boho-ish but then more western stuff this is free people I think I might have paid $4.99 for this <laughs> don't tell anyone um it's a size extra small too so that's just one of those sizes that I don't incorporate a ton of in my closet because I have a lot of them. So 
Um, but if someone's an extra small, they can score on some really cute stuff. This is just <sighs> precious. So it is a mock neck, red, long sleeve top with this rounded hem and it has this heavy embroidery on it. You know when you see embroidery in the store and you're like, oh, Johnny was, and it's always something else. It's always something like mm, Old Navy, um, Walmart, or the brand, I think it's Kato or Cato, Kato. That's, I swear, that's what it always is. But um, this was just really cute and I thought somebody would want to have that in their life. Next up is a, I would call this just like a base layer. The brand is Bombas, like the socks. It's a size medium and it is made of 50% merino wool, 50% tensile lyocell. So it's this gray black long sleeve base layer. And I've never seen the clothing by this brand. So I went ahead and picked that up. Oh, here's the other latched mama top. This is an extra small, but it's the same exact top and got access under the little flap. They're just super cute. They probably wash great. Somebody, you know, who is nursing um, can have a cute top and be comfortable. So next up is a pair of Vans um, Surf Ciders by Vans. And I can't read what it says above that. Oh, the original. These are a size eight. I just got them because I thought they were cute. They're not worth a ton. Um, I paid $3.99 for these. They're like a like a, I don't know, waxed or coated espadrille. And then um, they need a little bit of cleanup on the bottom, but they're just slip on vans with this really fun kind of rainbow stripe to it. All right, next up is a pair of Eddie Bauer. So um, I've talked in previous videos about like Land's End, L.L. Bean, Eddie Bauer. I will pick up all of them. I Eddie Bauer is sometimes sold at Costco and like Sam's Club. So sometimes I'm a little hesitant to pick it up, but this is a women's size 10 tall pull on pant in this gray color. And it's just a crop length. It looks, it is like a ripstop fabric. So that's great. And just a comfy, casual, great travel pant or, you know, going for a hike or whatnot. Next up is the brand Love Stitch. Um, I feel like it is sold at Dillard's, Macy's, Nordstrom, something like that. Could be totally making that up. I picked this up for style. I thought it was really cute. It's this blue, cream, peach, kind of gray, purple, periwinkle color, long sweater, and this open knit. It needed a little bit of depilling, but nothing major. And it was a size medium and it's made of angora wool and nylon so the content fabric content on that also made me want to pick that up okay next up is a free people piece i feel like i picked up more free people this day um and anthropology brands and i typically do i just it doesn't sell quickly for me i feel like it's oh there's a ton of it on the market and so I, you know, if it's a style that I like or the price is right, sure, I'll pick it up. But some of it just sits and sits and sits for me and then it sells for $15. So I don't ever say I won't pick something up, but there are certain things I do steer clear from. But that's, you know, I think everyone's case. Um, there are certain things that I will always probably pick up like Birkenstocks and um, Doc Martens, kind of no matter what the condition is. But there are other, other things that... And I've only been reselling full time since November, part time for a couple years before that. So I am by no means an expert, but I do like to think that I am gaining experience all the time and what may work for me may not work for other people. So oh, there we go. There's my spiel for the second. Uh, anyway, this is free people size large. So it's a size large and it's a romper. I'm all over the rompers. I, I, I love rompers. I wish I could wear rompers. Even when I was super thin, I just have a really tall like torso. And so it felt like everything was just giving me major camel toe and wedgie. Um, so anyway, this is a uh, just a strapless romper in this great black and white print. And it's a size large and free people. So I just think that is super cute and somebody's going to enjoy that. Okay, this, I don't know why. I picked up two pieces of Lulu's, but um, 
it sells for some people that has not sold for me, but maybe that's just me. I just thought this was really pretty. It's a size small and it has this fun sleeve. It's kind of just this open jacket, drapey jacket thing um, with kind of this dangly loose collar. I don't know what you want to call it. And this back that looks like a vent, but it's not just an open jacket and it's really pretty I don't know what this is called terracotta maybe kind of looks terracotta Lulu size small so I grabbed this um it was you know 50% off of maybe $5.99 so I had to pay up a little bit for that next up is Duluth Trading Company size 10 and their 31 inch um, inseam. So I just ordered myself a pair of, this is where Facebook gets you or Instagram. It's a pair of their gardening um, overalls and they were on sale. And I, I thought, okay, well they're on sale, but maybe I can find a pair secondhand that are cheaper, but they weren't. And so I just ordered them new, but I do pick up Duluth. It's an expensive company. It has okay sell through for me. I liked these pants a lot. Um, anyway, they are a size 10 and the longer inseam. It's just a pull-on pant with the zip. It's just a athletic pant, um, an outdoor pant. It's heavy, substantial. It has a really nice waistband. So these are great travel pants, outdoor pants. Uh, and they have two flat pockets on the back. And so I will go ahead and list those. This is... Uh, Diane von Furstenberg, size 14. It's 100% silk wrap dress. It should do really well. It's cream and black. It has a few little spots on it that I need to address. Um, but I still think it will, even if it doesn't come out, it will still sell. Um, they were really tiny, really tiny. So anyway, it's just a really pretty wrap dress. I wish it was wrapped and I had a picture for you, but I don't. So that was an exciting find. I paid full price for them. I found Diane von Furstenberg a few times. I found one wrap dress one time, but it had a stain in a really inopportune spot on the back that was not coming out. And I tried. They had it in the robe section, and I bought it for $4.99, hoping I could get the stain out, um, but I did not. This brand is Morella. It's got like a European uh, sizing on it, 42, made in Romania. I think that's probably Romania, but maybe that's the way Romanians spell it. I don't know. I'll have to look that up. It is just a really pretty blouse. These don't resell for a ton. I paid full price for this $4.99. It ties in the front. This is a delicate, pretty popover silk blouse um, that I just thought had a really nice pattern on it for spring. So that was my focus on picking that up. Next up is um, the brand Three Dots in a size medium. It is a gray, super soft, like popover sweatshirt, kind of oversized fit. And three dots is hard to kind of find sometimes, but if you look on their tag on the inside, it says, there you go. Um, there's the three dots and then it has the website that says three dots on it. This is acrylic rayon spandex so anyway that should do all right this is a romper <laughs> um band of gypsies size medium which i feel like maybe was all the rage one one minute but i don't know i got this for style pretty much um and it was remember how much this one was of course 338 with my average cost of goods but I think it might have been half price off and they had it in the dresses section it's a romper it's a size medium but it has this wrap detail in the front um that kind of ties and knots there so just real cute summer next up is J Jill size medium this is a hundred percent linen long sleeve top button front Need a little steaming in this really pretty uh, rosy pink color. I will pick up linen all day, every day. <laughs> this is Wild Fox size medium. This is like a periwinkle purple v-neck sweatshirt. 
and like a lot of wild fox stuff it has this pre-worn in look for you and this was a size medium oversized fit it doesn't have a super fun graphic on it or anything but um i still think it will do well <clears throat> next up is just a lululemon long sleeve top in this great peach color and it is a size eight <laughs> along the band there and it has some fun little sayings along that so you know lululemon i people really love it it's not something i find a ton i don't find a lot of newer styles but that's just kind of a classic base piece and it was half price so okay this i saw oops is that the front no <laughs> that's the back it is um this i th thought like is this an ice skating top it is a just a top in this athletic material dry fit or kind of and i saw that down there and then it's got this crossover back um, rounded hem long sleeves and so i thought hmm, i'm interested to know what that logo is so i looked it up at the brand is 11. it's by venus williams and it's just a size large um i assume tennis top so uh, but athletic top in general and this really pretty color so i picked that up just because it was half price and thought i'd give her a shot this was a dollar it's orvis size extra large it's a hundred oh i'm sorry 60 percent cotton 40 percent polyester it's just a great kind of capped sleeve or sleeveless boxy top in this v-neck it's textured striped color it's kind of sem semi sheer and um orvis does all right especially in that kind of fabric um so i went ahead and picked that up this is loft extra extra small petite so someone who is that petite might have difficulty finding clothes um and so I'll never forget Angela from the office talking about shopping at Baby Gap or at the American Girl store trying to get like pre-Victorian clothing or whatnot. So people who are really need small sizes probably have difficulty finding them because they just don't make as many. It's like people who wear a size 11 shoe, they're just not making as many of those shoe sizes as compared to like eights and sevens. So I just thought this was really cute. It is a ruffle neck chambray dress. Just a t-shirt or a shirt dress with these ruffled trims and it's got a rounded hem to it. It feels like a Lyocell uh, sort of blend to it. 100% Lyocell. So it has slip pockets. It's just real cute. How many times have I said real cute in this video? Probably a few. Okay, back to Lulu's size small. I just thought this was a really cute top. It's like a thermal knit ribbed top in this pretty pale lavender purple color. And it's got this seam detail down the back. So, you know, living on the edge. My favorite piece is at the bottom here, which I'll get to in a second. This I bought, I need to kind of do a little fixing on it. It's Athleta Extra Small. And I just like the style of it. It's just a cowl neck pullover and I I did this um, when I was pulling it out of the bag I pulled this um, drawstring through so I need to go fish that out so that should be fun next up both you know it's hit or miss I just thought this was a cute top it's a US size 12 um, Bowden it's plain oh, Bowden but it's a really cute top. It's sort of a bell sleeve, short bell sleeve. And it's just a fitted design and it's in super good condition. Um, you know, hit or miss with Bowden. That was a dollar. This is also a dollar. It's Bowden size large, which it doesn't have the US sizing on there. So it leads me to believe that it's a large European, but I feel like that's a large fleece. Uh, in women's I'll take measurements it's kind of a brown it's got this fun red color and it's just a fleece with pockets in good condition so and it was a dollar okay here 
here we go. I paid $5.99 for these pants. And <laughs> when I checked out, the woman at Goodwill was like, oh, I'm so glad someone's buying those pants. I said, I am too. I hope someone can rock these. So the brand is Split End Limited. They were made in Korea. Vintage. They're a 1314. They are 100% leather. The lining is taffeta. And they are these fabulous leather pants. The, they're just fat. I don't know. They're fabulous. They're like a straight leg. They've got kind of, they're high waisted. I mean, anybody remember on the Friends episode where Ross wears leather pants and he gets sweaty and gets stuck in them? I kind of feel like that's where I would be if I was wearing leather pants. But these are lined so they'll slip on and off. You don't have to put some baby powder or whatever he was putting in his pants. So these are just so cool. These will definitely be um, something I list over to Depop and take good measurements for, but they're in super, super good condition. Now it says a 14, um, a vintage 14. These seem more like maybe an 810. So I'll take good measurements. Um, it's got a nice high rise and I think those are were like my favorite pickup of the day. The Diane Von Furstenberg dress will do great. Um, a few of the other things I did, you know, picked up were, will do great, but those were my favorite. So, you know, lots of bread and butter, um, but for $3.38 a piece, flipping for 20 bucks, 18 to 20 bucks, even with that cost of goods, I don't mind putting in the effort. That's a good return for me, especially when I know a lot of the items were a dollar. Um, and so I was really happy with what I got to pick up, found some brands that I had never found before. So that's always fun. And um yeah no complaints so anyway if you are interested in following me along on this reselling journey of mine please go ahead and subscribe hit that bell to be notified when i post new content and keep trucking along with me following along and see what happens as my reselling business grows over the next hopefully year as i get into really being a full-time reseller so thanks for watching and we'll see you next time take care